Katie Rothstein got a scare when she fell off a Segway during a family vacation in Paris this summer. I was fine after I, sa I sat down for like two minutes and I was really dizzy. Katie's mother, Adrian, got to her moments after it happened. A mom that was in the group pulled me aside and said she had flown over the handlebars of the Segway onto the top of her head. Katie seemed okay after that until back at home almost three weeks later, she volunteered to help a company called Right Eye test new equipment. When the report came up, I looked at it and I knew it's a unique pattern that has more to do with a concussion. Melissa Hunfelve, so a right eye co-founder, has studied eye tracking for more than 15 years. Their first product, Neurovision, is a digital version of the smooth pursuit test. If you are not concussed, then your eye will move smoothly with my finger. If you are concussed, then the eye does this. Which is what Katie's test showed. You can see that basically she jumped from here to here. The eye tracker takes 120 pictures per second, recording eye movements. Katie was lucky. Within weeks, her tests were normal. One of the problems with concussion is being able to accurately be able to assess what's going on and then know when it's okay to go back in. Hunfelve, a former tennis pro, has studied the differences between elite athletes and weekend warriors. She learned the elites focus not only on the ball, but on their opponents as well to anticipate where the ball is going and that the elites are better at blocking out distractions. Perhaps most importantly, the differences aren't limited to athletes. So even the best, whether it's a surgeon, an athlete, military personnel, their vision will change if they're not able to control their emotions. It wasn't until late 2011 when she met entrepreneur Adam Gross on a tennis court, of course, that she found a way to turn 12 years of research into a practical application. Three years ago, we couldn't have done it. The cost and the size of the eye tracking tech itself has gone down. Together, they developed software that reduced her evaluations from weeks to mere seconds. Their team spent months listening to potential customers, the military, Major League Baseball, and eye care professionals before deciding to go ahead with Neurovision. They started to ask us, can we use it to measure things like someone's depth perception uh, or field of view or extreme eye dominance? And I looked at Melissa and the answers were yes, yes, and yes. While concussion diagnosis is a headline grabber, eye care professionals like New Jersey optometrist Leonard Press already see wide-ranging possibilities. The idea behind we put you on an eye chart and you read letters is really impoverished. You can have wonderful eyesight and still be having problems performing, navigating, driving, reading. So we really need to bring the technology up to the 21st century. Right Eye sees an even greater impact if it can become a faster, more cost-efficient way to help school children uncover vision disorders because reading ability can affect graduation and even juvenile delinquency rates. There are large populations in this country where these kids are not getting screened appropriately and no one's paying attention to them. And if it impacts their ability to be successful in school, it's going to impact their ability to be successful in life. And we take that very seriously and we want to have an impact.